Hi! In this lecture video, I will be discussing the alkyl lithium reagent, which is a type of organometallic reagent. And so we will be discussing the differences and the similarity between the alkyl lithium reagent versus the Grignard reagent and how they will react to some of the functional group in the synthesis of the alcohol. Uh, so first, let's go over the, prepare, the preparation of the alkyl lithium reagent. It can be made from the alkyl halide. So if we start with an alkyl halide, we can use that alkyl halide to convert this into the alkyl lithium reagent. And so we would need to have two equivalent of the lithium metal in the presence of pentane as the solvent. And so what this would do is that it would again undergo the oxidative addition very similar to the magnesium in which that it inserts itself in the metal and it will give one electron to the carbon and give one electron to the chlorine therefore effectively break the carbon chlorine bond and now the carbon will get one electron from the lithium and same thing with the chlorine so in the resultant structure we will now have this carbon here become negative and this lithium become positive and here positive and negative so two lithium they both become a ket a cations they give one electron to one chlorine and give the other all the electron to this carbon. And we can also abbreviate this as follow. Or we can draw the covalent bond between the carbon and the lithium. Now, so let's now go over the chemical reactivity of the alkyl lithium reagent. So they behave similarly to the Grignard reagent toward the aldehyde and the ketone functional group. So if we would have aldehyde and ketone and react in this with the, uh, in this case, methyl lithium reagent in the presence of pentane followed by water workup, we'll be able to convert this into the tertiary alcohol. So this reagent right here, it also is very, very nucleophilic. And in fact, it is even more nucleophilic compared to the Grignard reagent. With this come in, attack that and kick that off and followed by the proination step to proinate our alkoxide and we'll be able to produce our tertiary, tertiary alcohol in the case that we start out with a ketone. Now why are the alkyl lithium reagent more reactive than the Grignard reagent? And again, this is something very important for us to remember and understand. The alkyl lithium reagent is even more reactive than the Grignard reagent. And therefore, they behave slightly different to some other functional group in comparison to the Grignard reagent. For an example, we have seen that when we take a carboxylic acid and react it with the Grignard reagent, it will undergo acid and base reaction, but not the nucleophilic addition reaction. However, if we were to use the lithium reagent instead in the, of the Grignard, they now will be able to, under, to do nucleophilic addition to this carbon to carbon right here. So that is one very, very important and distinct differences between the reactivity of the alkyl lithium reagent versus the Grignard reagent. Let's now talk, discuss why the alkyl lithium reagent is so reactive and even more reactive than the Grignard reagent. When we have our Grignard reagent, we will be having this bonded to the magnesium and the halide. Versus in comparison, this would then be our lithium reagent. And now notice the following, the charges. This magnesium right here is positive 2. This X right here is negative 1. And therefore, this carbon ion right here is negative 1. In the case of the alkyl lithium reagent, this is plus 1. And this is negative 1. So in both cases, then the bond of uh, the, the charges of the carbon ion are both negative. But there's some differences, and in fact, some very important differences between the two of them. First of all, the ionic bond between the R, our carbon ion, and the magnesium in the case of this Grignard reagent is actually stronger compared to the bond between the carbon ion and the lithium. And the reason why this bond right here is an ionic bond. And right now, we have the attraction between something like negative 1 and something a positive too. So this bond right here is strong. Versus the bond in the case of the alkyl lithium. So this carbon ion right here is negative one and the lithium is positive two. So they are attracted to each other ionically as well. 
However, this is then a weaker ionic bond. And because this is a weaker ionic bond, this can be broken easily. And therefore, we can see that the electron can then go to this alkyl uh, carbon ion right here more easily. And therefore, it's more readily available to react. And again, it is due to the fact that this ionic bond right here is weaker. Because it's weaker, it tends to dissociate further, making the charge on this carbon ion become more negative and therefore more reactive. So you can see this is more reactive because it tends to be more negative. Send it on a bond to the cation is weak. Versus here, this bond right here is stronger. So that's important for us to understand why the alkyl lithium reagent are more reactive than the alkyl than the Grignard reagent as a nucleophile and also as a base. So now let's go over the chemical reactivity of the alkyl lithium reagent with the carboxylic acid. So first, when we take this, then we know that the carboxylic acid has this proton right here that is acidic. So if we were to be taking treating this with the alkyl lithium reagent, this reagent can also behave as a base and as a nucleophile. Anytime acid and base reaction can happen, then it will happen before nucleophilic addition reaction. So therefore, the first equivalent of what we will see is that it will undergo acid and base reaction first. With this come in, pick up this proton, give an electron to this oxygen right here. So first, we will be able to produce this carboxylate. And now, one of the lithium will be binding to this oxygen as the counter ion. Now, here is what happened right here. If we were to have excess of this reagent right here, the excess reagent will be able to come in and add on to this carbonyl carbon right here. And this is very, very different in what we have seen from the Grignard reagent. The great reagent from Grignard, if we were to do the Grignard reagent, this carbon ion would not be able to come in and attack this carbonyl carbon. Versus if we were to use the alkyl lithium reagent, now this carbon ion will be able to come in and attack this carbonyl carbon. So it's why? The reason why as follows, it is due to the chemical reactivity of this carbonyl carbon right here. In the case that this carbonyl carbon right here is bonded to the lithium, this bond right here between the lithium and the oxygen, this is actually a very strong bond right here. And the reason why is because uh, both oxygen and lithium are on the second row elements. So they're quite similar in size uh, because they both belong on the second row, clearly not in the same side, but then they belong to the same row on the periodic table. So therefore they're similar in size. And the strength of this ionic bond right here is then dependent on size. And therefore, this is quite a strong bond. And the stronger this bond is, the more this part of lithium will be able to neutralize the negative charge on this oxygen right here. And as this oxygen right here is becoming neutralized due to the strong bond to the lithium, it will not be able to donate as much electron to form resonance to the carbonyl carbon. So in this case right here, this lithium is effectively taking the electron away from this negative oxygen right here reducing the positive power charge on, uh, uh, reducing the, uh, the ability of this oxygen to donate electron to this carbonyl carbon. So therefore, this carbonyl carbon right here become more partially positive. Compared to the counterpart, where we would now be having the Grignard reagent. In this case right here, so this positive charge right here, it is not as big compared to this partial part of char in the case of this reagent involving the lithium. And therefore, the carbon ion will be able to do another addition to this carbon to carbon right here. We come in, can attack that, and kick this off. So in the product, we'll be having this. And again, this is the methyl group that comes from the reagent producing this salt right here. So this basically is the, the base lithium salt. And following the water woke up step, then both of this will be able to come in and pick up the proton from water. And initially, we'll be having this product right here. And this is called an acetal. An acetal in the presence of water, it will break up and kick off this, and this can pick up a proton from water again. 
they are not very stable. So they be broken up to produce the double bond and convert this into a ketone. So alkyl lithium reagent react with the carboxylic acid to convert the carboxylic acid into the corresponding ketone. And on this ketone right here, one of the alkyl group from this ketone right here, it comes from the alkyl group from the alkyl lithium reagent. So please remember that, so that way we can draw the product quickly. Versus if we were to treat this, uh, the carboxylic acid with the Grignard reagent, we'll only be able to do acid and base reaction. So that one very big differences between the reactivity of the alkyl lithium reagent and the Grignard reagent. And on this next several slide right here, then this basically go over the chemical reactivity. This is a map, so uh, reaction map right here of how we can make the alcohol. And this fallen table right here show the reactivity of the lithium, alkyl lithium, and Grignard reagent in terms of how they react with the other functional group. And now let's try a few practice problems involving this reaction right here. So let's first try number 32. So in this 32 right here, when we take this a substrate, reacting this with the Grignard reagent in which the carbenanon is a methyl group followed by the water work up as a separate step, what will be the product? So we can see here in this case right here, we both have an aldehyde and a ketone right here, and both of this are good electrophilic, have electro, good, uh, good electrophilic carbonyl carbon, so therefore they can be attacked by the Grignard reagent. And converting the ketone now into the alcohol, and now we have a methyl group, and this methyl group, group right here come from the Grignard reagent. And as for the other aldehyde, now we'll be able to add another methyl group right here. And this then chain into the prime, uh, in this case right here, this chain into the second alcohol. So this is a Toshi alcohol right here, and this is a second alcohol. And that will be the structure of the product. And now let's try this number 36 right here. So in this case, we are taking this and reacting this with um, the uh, alkyl lithium reagent. What would be the product? So here in this case, we can see that ester can react with the alkyl lithium reagent. And this would then be converted into the ketone. Versus this carboxylic acid will be into the ketone as well. So in this reaction right here, we'll be able to produce the following. ester into ketone and carboxylic acid into ketone as well when we use the alkyl lithium reagent.